There's a little pause here for a deliberate reason. There's a story, not a mashal, a true story. Very, to me, powerful story. I've debated whether to mention it or not. Why would I not want to mention the story? Because it gets me very emotional. I'm going to try. And I'm going to try to do it devoid of any emotion. Okay? I'm going to try. If I fail, you'll forgive me. But I'm going to do a good job trying. It's a true story. What are we capable of doing with words spoken and unspoken? Our job is to good, do good for humanity. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy One, blessed be He, has made people differently. Some have money, some don't, some are tall, some are short. So on and so forth. What can we do to make the world a better place? This is a story that my kids learned in, um, I don't know, when they were younger. And it's a true story, apparently took place in a yeshiva high school in the New York area. But since I don't know everything for sure, I'm not going to mention names. And uh, though I was told which one. If you would search for the story online, you would find it in all kinds of places with slightly different versions. Everybody's talking about it. But it took place with a bunch of Jewish boys in the yeshiva in the New York area, the greater New York area. It's about a boy called Shia. Online you might find him as Shay, Shai, whatever. Shia was one of those wonderful kids who unfortunately had both learning and physical disabilities. Now, during the week, he went to a special school for special children, special education, no doubt therapy and other things. On Sundays, yes, you both are open on Sundays. On Sundays, he went to this yeshiva. This yeshiva is known for accepting all kinds of children, different backgrounds, different capabilities, doing amazing work. One Sunday, Shia comes to school with his father. And he sees the boys from his class playing baseball. And he says to his father, Dad, whatever he called him, do you think you could get me to play with them? Now, Logically, the father would tell his son, my son, I know you want to play with them, but you can't. You're not able to. You don't have what it takes. You've got certain deficiencies. I shouldn't have started this story. But he was smarter than that. I'm sure he was expecting a no. Why would this <laughs> either team take him? He goes to the team. He goes to one of the boys and he says, my son would like to play on your team. He knows the boy, of course. Looks around to his friends and says, what do we do? Shia wants to play with us. What do we do? This was a real game. And this team happened to be losing at the moment, but they had a decent chance of winning if they put everything into it but they needed good people on the team. The boys are going, I don't know. He says, okay, he can play with us. He says, in Shia, at the, in the ninth inning, we're gonna let you bat. Bat, this kid probably couldn't hold a bat too well. All right, hear this. They send him out on the field. Now their team has one extra man. The other team should complain. Didn't say a word. They continue playing. Now it's this close. This team that he's on has a chance of winning with just a little help. But if they're going to put him on, they're giving away the game. Comes to him with a bat and says, Shia, you're on.
You can hardly hold the bat. The pitcher from the other team, you know, they take three steps back. He didn't. He took three steps forward. Sent him a little gentle pitch. Couldn't hit it. One of his teammates comes to help him hold the bat. Pitcher goes a little closer. Gives him a gentle ball. Together they hit it. But they hit it right back to the pitcher. He picks it up. Now all he has to do is throw it to the guy at first base. Shia's out. They've won the game. That's it. Takes the ball, throws it the other end of the field. And they shout at him, Shia, run to first base. Run to first base. I don't know if he could run or not. We've never run to first base in his life. He's running to first base. Now one of the outfielders catches it. All he has to do is throw it to the second baseman. But he got the idea. Throws it to the other end of the field. True story. He makes a home run. They win the game. I don't know who's the most admirable of the two teams. But it's just amazing. what a group of human beings can do. I think there's a tremendous story, a message to be learned here. They all gained, every single one of them. Shia, his father, his mother, and all the boys in the teams. I'm glad I'm not the only one with, uh, without a dry eye, it's okay. I wondered, the, the version my kids learned didn't say what happened the next year. <laughs> Did it happen again? So I wondered, and I don't know what happened because as I say, it's a true story and I don't want to say something that's not true, but one of the versions I read that uh, Shia didn't make it to the next year. Be that as it may, They gave him a gift that neither he nor his family could ever forget. <laughs>